Good evening and welcome to Division 1 Game Week 7 in the Swamp League. Um, good evening to you all, hope you're all well and people just give me a message to say they can hear me. I can see we've got uh, Mega Horse and Alex who is mating, making his debut tonight. Uh, so looking forward to that one, see how we get on. Just have a quick message from somebody to say yeah they can hear and we're all good to go. And we will kick off this evening. We've got some decent games out there tonight. Uh, yeah, excellent. Alex, thank you very much, mate. Cheers for that. Um, so have a quick look at the table. Um, so it's how we line up. Uh, a couple of decent games tonight, as I said. Um, my Yetis are against the All-Stars. So first, first, third. That will be a decent game. And we also have uh, at the bottom here, Pine Villa away at UAT, which should be a really good game as well. Um, I've got no uh, instructions or nobody said they want to go first or last, so we will press the button and see what we get for our first game. So we start, oh, as if by magic, we have one of our other um, new managers. So, Steve, this is your Ponzi scheme aside for this evening. Um, I think there might have been a problem submitting the team for the first night due to the time on it. So you've gone the same as last time but for night. Um, tonight, so hopefully if you're around, we might be able to do some subs and get that sorted out for you. So we will carry on. We will start you. Just have a quick look at the side again, and we will then OK it. And you are against the heavy drinkers, um, which I think is now um, Astra Square as the manager there. So it should be good. We've had a team submitted here. Excellent. That looks good to me. Three at the back. A uh, asymmetrical with the uh, the wingers Gonzalez in Raúl Bierhoff, uh, De Alessandro I think makes his first appearance. No, he's got three goals and assists. I thought it was his first appearance, and that looks like a good side to me. So we'll kick off our first game in the evening. We have a uh, Ponzi schema versus the Heavy Drinkers, and we will get this one going. So we kick off, and we're slow to start. But here we go. It's the first bit of action. I think there was an early chance there for Jason Yule, I think it was, and Raul with a chance and a good save from Rob Douglas. And Pennant and Gascoigne on there. Raul again seems to be heavily involved. First 25 minutes. Morales as well. We get to 30 minutes. Raul, and then we do get a goal, and it is Boris. So it looks like Raul's cross and Boris's finish, and it is 1-0 to the heavy drinkers. Q Gonzalez with a chance. And Dio Sandro must score, but doesn't, and there is a second, and it is Morales who gets the second, and we get to half-time. It's been all the heavy drinkers here, and they are... Boris at the back, so from centre back, and also Morales. So the two centre backs forward for the um, for the two goals. Um, Raul's name mentioned a lot there as well. Bierhoff not having a great game up front, but winning two 0 So let me know if there are any changes to be made. I don't think I have seen anything come through for either of these. I will just have a quick look. No, nope, nothing for these. So I will give it. 30 seconds to a minute, just in case we have anybody wanting to make any changes. Ponzi schema, Paul Gascoigne getting a five. Also as captain. And no, I haven't seen anything or heard from anyone, so I think we will go to 60. Just another 30 seconds or so. No, I don't think we're getting anything, so we will carry on till 60. It's Gillespie and Gemma Gemma and Sutton with a chance. And we've slowed right down, but here they come again. Ponzi schema. Gascoigne getting involved now. And we get to 60, 61, 63, 64. We count down. And pretty much where we were before, to be honest, still 2-0. Uh, Beerhoff still not having a great game. Everybody else doing pretty well, though. Boris on the nine centre back for a left centre back excellent performance from him 
to up level. Yep, we're just on the subs at 60 minutes as well. So if you want to make any changes, let us know. Um, as I said, beer half not having a great game on the six. Have a look what you've got on the bench, striker-wise. Uh, yeah, there is another Morales on the bench if you wanted to make the change or maybe go two up top. Um, I'll just leave that there. Condition. Uh, Dio Sandro on 78%, but should be fine in there. Other than that, all pretty good. Just while we do that, we'll move over to Ponzi Schema. Who, yeah, Jermaine Pennant, as I said before, he had a really good game last week, and he's having another one. They're getting an eight tonight. Uh, Keith Gillespie as well on a seven, doing very well from where they are. So hopefully we'll have a team from them next week. Uh, yeah, excellent. We will do that change now. So it was this Morales, Carlos Morales, yeah, for Oliver Bierhoff. So change is made. Uh, going well, 2 0. We will run it till the end here. Uh, change is made. Can it make? Can he get another goal? And he does straight off the bench and straight onto the goals, and it's 3 0. Very good performance. Boris still on his nine over there. Oh. Uh, Time ticking away now. Just been a very good performance here. Be happy with that. It's first game. And we have an injury to Michael McIndoe. Uh, centre midfield. What have we got? Uh, not a lot midfield-wise. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do Winston Bogard. No, in fact, we'll do Rio for Michael McIndoe. And we will give Jermaine Pennant... His chance in midfield. The last two minutes, see how he gets on. And that's, we come to the end of it. 3 0, dominant performance. Only one shot from Ponzi Schema, seven from the heavy drinkers, five on target. That's a, a good start for them. Be very happy with that. And yep, the man off the bench got the goal on an eight. And uh, yeah, Boris, excellent at the back there yeah, on a nine. Have a look at your stats quickly. Bierhoff didn't have a great game. They've got a shot away, but everybody else, pretty good. Be happy with that. One shot, one goal for Morales as well. Maybe pushing for a start next game. Ponzi scheme were wise. Uh, Jermaine Pennant, excellent on the back there. Look at that. Uh, six headers, four, one, three key ones. Very good performance from him. Chris Sutton, okay as well. Getting the uh, rather harsh six there, I think. And... Uh, yeah, we move on to our second game. So we move to Bristol South End, who I do have some instructions for. I am just going to go and check them while I'm here. Oh, uh, it's not too much on for this one. So they line up with the uh, arrows from the wingers into attacking midfield. So we go James Hill, Butler, Carey, McInnes, Betsy, Noble, Hartley, Stewart, Gota, and Bridges. The very, very good Michael Bridges, who had a great game out last time with two. And they were unlucky, if I remember rightly, if I look at their fixtures. Yeah, they lost a thriller against UAT. Uh, Bridges got two. And they were just done by Daniel Jimenez in the end. So, uh, Darren McInnes set as captain. So, that's fine. Seems fine to me. And they are playing against the Steelhawks tonight. Who line up? Shemichael in goal. Uh, Julio Arca, left back. Ian Pearce, Sammy Hoopier, and uh, Babel at the back. Nicky Butt. And then Harry Kuehl, Parler, Stanage, De Canio, and Sahar up front. Again, we say it every week, this looks like a strong side to me. Sammy Hip here is captain in there. This should be a, another good one. Let's get this one kicked off. Uh, so, still hawk straight on the attack. But here come Bristol South End, who were very, very good last week. Sahar, Parler. Kuehl with a chance. Here they come again. Gota with a chance and a very good save by Schmeichel there. It seemed like Sahar. Seems pretty even so far. 20 minutes going. Bridge is coming back the other way. Kuehl. Get to 30 minutes. Seems to slow down. But here comes Kuehl and Sahar and Stanage. Names appearing. Here comes Stanage to Kuehl to the Canio. And we seem to have the last chance for half time. Q again, uh, booking for Tony Butler, and we get to half time. And still, Hawks probably slightly better us 
of it in that first half, but not by a lot, to be honest. Bristol's still in it. And I've got nothing for changes for Bristol until 60. As for the Steel Hawks, uh, good to the 60th as well. So I think I haven't seen either of those in the chat, so I will just give it another 30 seconds, and then we will go to the 60th minute. Um, look at the stats. Steel Hawks, uh, Lewis Aha having a good game up front for him. Yeah, no condition problems there. And we will switch over to Bristol South End. David James having a great game in goal there. I think we criticised him last week saying that um, a six was a good game for him, but 7.60, he's not been too bad in goal. Yeah, uh, Tony Butterworth, his booking is on a five. I think he had a bit of a shocker last week as well, if I remember rightly. Um, I haven't heard anything, so we will go to 60 minutes here. And Arco with a chance, and Parler has a go. Stanage. Sahar with another chance. But here comes Bristol South End again. Gota. Get to 57, 58, 60 minutes on the clock, 61. And it is Decanio as we press the button, as happens so, so often, who gets the goal. Um, Bristol South End, what were we saying? And we want to change for or Stern John for whichever the strikers wasn't having a better game. Um, I'm going to swim for Dota, even though on sevens, because I'm a Man United fan, so I don't like him. Um, and then Johnson. Johnson for Stuart or Noble. Stuart on a seven, Noble on a five. So that's an easy swap there. Two swaps for them. Excellent. Uh, still Hawks wise. Um, good to the 60th. Any ratings five or below? No, there isn't. Also, so Ha hasn't had a shot on goal. I'm sure he has because he's had a good game in there. Yes, he's had plenty of shots on goal. So we will leave them as is until the end. Let's um, carry us on and finish our second game off. Can Bristol get back into it with the changes? But here comes the Steel Hawks. Johnson John. Was it? They hit the post there, but here comes Parler back the other way, and Kuehl. And we'll slow down. Ten minutes to go. Can we get a equaliser, or are the Steel Hawks going to finish it off? Parler with a chance, and it is Ray Parler who makes it 2-0. His name has been all over it. And no, Stavage, they're on a 10 now. Great performance by him. And that sees us out to the end. Mario Stanch is 10. Very good. What's he been up to in there? Oh, with both assists there from the right side of midfield. I quite like that tactic. It's something I've used a bit. Push the two left back and right back up. But excellent. Uh, Bristol South End. So we had a 10 from Stanage. A lot of eights in there. Uh, so hard with an eight. Probably deserved a goal as well. Bristol. South end, David James dropped down to a seven. The five from Tony Butler probably didn't help. The five for David Noble, but we did swap him out. Uh, all the shots were coming. Gota and then Bridges, who was having a decent half, a lot more of the ball. And yep, 2-0 to the Steel Hawks. Uh, we move on to our third game. We go to the Coffin Dodgers. Uh, currently 11th in the table. They were just having problems scoring goals, but they seem to have got... Some last time out, they line up like this. So we have Calori, Collar, Aldir, Dulidio, Wincon, McAllister, Vinter, um, Baggio, Balbo, and Romario today. And they are playing at the Cavern Club, who line up like this with the uh, diagonal arrows from the central midfield. So Terry Rufus, Dunn, Maxwell, Oster, Fischtag, Lam Lambert, Botang, Hartson, and the very good, very impressive John Carew, who's been having a great season, 8.67, three goals, three man of the matches. 
and yeah, looking very good. Lambert in this captain should be another good one. This one, and we will get this one going. Now we are kicked off Maxwell with a chance, and it's Hartson, but it is offside. Somebody offside in the build up there, I think. His Carew and Maxwell again. I've seen his name a couple of times, having a good start. The two strikers seem to be causing problems for the Coffin Dodgers here, but we're still at 0 0. 20 minutes in. Baggio, Carew. And it is a goal, and it is Richard Vistig. Um, we were told how to pronounce it last week. Still probably not getting it right, but we are back at 1-1. Romario getting the equaliser almost instantly there. Delivio. McAllister. Delivio again, Romario. And we get towards half-time. Two minutes added on. And there we do. We get to half time in what is, well, I was going to say a pretty even game, but no, the Cabin Club with the three shots on target um, from their three attempts and Coffin Dodgers one from one. So have a quick look at the stats wise. I'll start with Coffin Dodgers. Uh, I haven't seen Teflon this afternoon, well, this evening. So let us know. He's, there's a few players not touching the ball very much. They're all, are they all the centre backs? Yeah, they are. Look at that. Six four five three five four. Yeah, they did concede three shots on target, which is interesting. Romario strikes the only strike on goal on the seven. We'll move over to the, the Cavern Club. Who what we've got in there? Terry getting an eight, Richard Dunn getting an eight, and the goal scorer getting an eight as well. Again, I still haven't seen much, still haven't seen either of them. There. I've got no instructions for either of them, so I think I'm just going to play it through. I will just check. Um, no, as for the mags, this runs so no, no instructions. So we will play it through till 60. Shall we start this one? 1 1 here at half time. Another chance for the cabin club. We get to 55, 57, 58. But here they go, Hartson. And it is a Boateng who makes it 2 1 again just before the 60 minute mark. Uh, we get to 60, and there's a few more eights in there now. Hartson on an eight, and Dunn still on his eight. Boateng on a seven but with his goal. Move over to the Coffin Dodgers. And we have the goal for Romario. Other than that, still the centre-back's not having a lot of the ball there. All on sixes and sevens. Uh, still not seen anybody there, so we will carry on and finish this one off. Romario with a chance. And again, trying to get them back into it, the Coffin Dodgers here. 70 minutes, 72. Cole with a header there. Saved. Get 80 minutes. Lambert Carew again, getting involved now. 85. Is there an equaliser coming in? It'll be against the run of play, but here is Romario. Carew with a chance to Terry. And we get to the end, and it finishes a 2-1. Probably deserved by the Cavern Club. Uh, a lot more of the efforts on target. Um, Stats-wise, uh, John Crew getting his 9, and an 8 for John Hartson, and 8 for two of the centre-backs. Coffin Dodgers-wise, uh, an 8 from one of the centre-backs, Kaori, and an 8 from Romario, the goal scorer. Another 5 from... Uh, Balbo, who hasn't been great in his five appearances, probably lucky to still be getting a place, to be honest. I think he might be looking at Stoichkov or Zola there. And we move to Honest Runs, and we look at the Aardvarks. I do have some instructions for the Aardvarks. So we will keep that open until we get there. A couple of suspensions here for Jeremy's and Jeremy. Uh, commentator's nightmare. But that brings him looking like this. Four at the back. Telfer in front. Reed Parler. Second time I've seen Ray Parler tonight. Uh, Cobelli, Dublin and Ferdinand. He's gone three up top. I know um, we've been saying about all three of his strikers have been good. So that is not a surprise. Virtually identical stats for them. 
So the kicks were off. They are playing against uh, the bottom side at the moment, uh, Trotters Independent Tacklers. And they line up with the uh, Sullivan, Barry, Navarro, Pierce, Ferreira, Keane, Duff, Ferguson, Bouton, Luque, and Gouve. Uh, is that Gouve's first? No, it's played before. So it's his first start. Uh, he needs some goals, though. No goals from any of the strike force. And let's get this one going. Straight into it, though. Gouve with a chance in the corner. Another chance. Gouve again. His name's come up a couple of times. Duff with a chance that goes wide. Dublin Telfer. Dublin again. Uh, booking for par and Hutton. Ferguson offside there. I think it's nine. It's a penalty, and it is a goal for Alan Navarro from the back. Makes it 1 0 to Trotters. And Ferguson gets almost 2 0. 2 0 to Trotters. Barry Ferguson with his goal. This is a lot better performance from them. I'd be happy with this. But we've got one back, and we have an injury to the penalty goal scorer. I haven't got any instructions, so let's have a look what he's got on the bench. Uh, uh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, in that case, I will probably make the change. And we have the Roberto Trotter, who seems like the perfect candidate for Navarro there. There's four at the back. And this is seems a lot better for them. 2-1 uh, up at the moment. And the goal from Stephen Reid. Uh, we will play till half time. Change made. And lots of injury time here. And we get to half time. So let's have a look at what is happening. We'll start with the home side, Honest Rons. We do have some instructions from them. And they say uh, go through to 60 minutes. Unless somebody's on a five, which there is somebody, it is the centre back Vocalus. Vocalus. Um, and we will look to his bench. And I think that looks like uh, Bonomi is the change for me. Excellent. Um, and we will make that change and we will carry them on. I've seen nothing from Trotters. I also haven't seen Russ tonight. He's normally around, but I haven't seen him. He'll be happy, though. 2-1 up. I won't make any changes for him because of the injury. And we will go to 60. Can Honest Rons get back into it? Or are Trotters going to pick up their first win? Damien Duff Ferguson with a chance. Uh, yeah, big kid. I've done that one, mate. Yeah, swapped it over for you. And we are on the 60-minute mark. Um, I've swapped that over for you, mate. Um, if you want to make any other changes, though, let me know. Trotters-wise, they'll be pretty happy with that. I have a look, hey, not great up front for them, but they have their two goals. Condition-wise, all pretty good, so we won't worry about swapping those. We'll go over to Honest Rons for you. Uh, yeah, not too bad, apart from the... Uh, the scoreline, that's not a bad form. It's Jamie Carragher on a six, probably still hurting from yesterday. Um, Cushy result, yeah, perfect timing, Ross. There you go, right on cue with that one. Uh, still got 30 minutes to go yet, though, mate, so don't get too excited. Condition-wise, they're all great. I'll just give you a minute. Okay, McPhee, good choice. McPhee comes on for Albert Luque. Excellent. We'll go over to Honest Runs. Just give him a second. Anything else you'd like, uh, Big Kid? Any changes? Uh, what have we got? Ray Power on six. The, he's normally one of your better performances there. Let's give you a minute or so to have a look.
still in Dublin. Two goals in three appearances. Cabelli, two goals in six appearances. And third man, two in two. Cucci on for left back and put him at AMC. So, yeah. Uh, like that. Uh, I think you need to put some wide men on, unfortunately, there. So we could do something like, unless you wanted to do that, let us know. Uh, otherwise, I think maybe a horse will um, interrupt us more or less. Let us know if you're happy. Oh, put lead at DML with an arrow, please. Okay. Yeah. Like that. And are you moving the other one up as well? <laughs> That's got to be marble tops. Got to be marble tops, Ross. Um, something like that. Is that what you're after? Uh, do you want parlor centralized as well? Can't have two at the back. Okay, right. Uh, what do you want to do? Um, I would say... We need your wide men in as well, so probably that is your best option. All good. No, we need to need wide players as well. So either like that or push Reed and Apala on. It's up to you. Um, Mr. Sloth, good evening, mate. How are you? I think it's me beat you tonight, mate. It's going to be a good one. Okay. Thanks, DR, please. So there. <laughs> uh, I, I only have one sink, uh, Rob. Yeah, only one sink, but I will admit to having a um, wine cooler. I will also say before we go much further, this kitchen was here when I bought the house. It isn't me putting it in. Um, we do have a like a wine cooler thing though, and we also have a like second fridge that has drinks in it. I don't know if I should admit that, but. Um, yeah, we have like a drinks fridge that is built into a cabinet as well. Um, yeah, as I said, the kitchen was already here. It wasn't anything to do with me. Um, what we're doing with this team, I think I'm going to cancel. And we will go back. So it looks like this at the moment. I think you want the coochie on. So I reckon your best bet is probably just to... Uh, <laughs> excellent yes no mine doesn't give vice or anything like that so there you go i think you might have a part of, oh, okay part of mc i'm really confused now so i think we were bringing coochie on for the left back i think that was what we were up to so we will do that and he wanted to play it AMC. So we now need two wingers out. So the easy fix is Reed to left back and Parler to midfield centre, which I think is what we were doing. Yes. Something like that. That gives us our three or more at the back and two wide players. Let's give you 30 seconds. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Perfect. Excellent. Right, let's go. So we have 60 minutes. It's 2 1 to Trotters. Can the changes make any difference? Um, McFay has come on up front as well. We will resume the game. And we're still at 2 1 65. And there is another penalty. It's McFay off the bench and into the goals. And it's 3 1. And this is. Oh, it's 3 2. It's a great game stepping up now. There's Ferdinand with the goal. Ferdinand with another chance. Eighty one, Duff Ferguson. Harry Ferguson, something. Well, he's on a six, but he seems to be having a good game. And as I curse it, no, it looked like he was sent off there, but he wasn't. Not sure what happened there. It's still free too. We're in the extra time at the end. Can we get anything? No, we can't. It finishes a free two to Trotters. I'm sure I saw Ferguson get sent off there. Might have just been me, but for a second it looked like he was sent off. No, obviously it was just me. Um, it finishes free two to Trotters. And in a, a very good performance from them. Um, honest Ron's unlucky, to be honest. Nine shots on goal, four on target. Trotter, seven on goal, five on target. That's a lot better from them. They needed goals, and they got them tonight. Barry Ferguson, Stephen McPhee, and Alan Navarro before he went off injured. Uh, it's a big win for them. And here we go. It is the top of the table clash. It is the Mario All Stars, and Rob is here perfectly, so he can't accuse me of throwing everybody up front. And uh, he looks like this: uh, Tokic, Yepes, Melshot, Lentini, Bowser, Kobayashi, Basler, Esperato, Lobo, and Mira. Uh, Lobo's having a very good season for him. Yeah, three goals, six appearances, two man the matches. Very good. Uh, beef on in goal, so always difficult to score against. And they line up against my Yetis, who stick to what we did last week. Uh, they seem to work. Uh, we have Thatcher, Sandy, McAteer, Hope, Petter, Rodriguez, Quintana, Poltervets, as spotted by Dims last week, might be the slowest player to ever play at this level. But he did get his goal. Uh, Edilson, who has been excellent for us, and Boxic is up front. Um, let's get this one. Yeah, I do know what to do at half time, mate. I just want you to confirm it, though, so I don't get the blame. And we will kick this one off. And Edilson with a chance, and there's a corner, and Edilson again. Rodriguez. And it is a goal, and it is the dangerous Mario Lobo who gets the goal. Boxic equals it up, and it is 1 1. And this is more entertaining from us. We haven't been very entertaining recently, but we get to 1 1. Dealson with another chance. Good saves from Buffon. Two decent keepers here, should be. Boxic with a chance in this corner. Back at here. Seems an even game so far. Both teams creating chances here. 35 minutes gone, 1-1 one, one here. Adilson and Quintana makes it 2-1 to the Yetis as we get into... Uh, injury time, and there we are. 2-1 Yetis at half-time. A uh, much better game um, entertainment-wise than I've been serving up recently. Um, I will show you what you're up to, Rob, but I'm sure we know what you want to do. If you could just confirm that you want me to throw Esperantero up front in the middle, like he has been, and if you want me to swap uh, Lentini, yeah, indeed, an absolute slobber knocker. Yeah, that's exactly what we want to see in swim. Um, yeah, do it. So you want to go through. Do you want to do the uh, Lentini swap as well, or are you going to give him until 60? Just while you think about that, I'll just have a look at the Yetis. Uh, we're all right, though. I think we'll stick. Um, Bobby Pett have been very disappointing in six games and doing absolutely nothing on a guy that normally produces quite a bit. Yes, please, Lentini. Yeah. Chris Hope as well on the six, who's been good for me until 
now. Um, I'm not going to make any changes, and we're going to do Mario, who's the left side in midfielder, for Lentini. Uh, three up top, we will go to 60 minutes in this one. Can the All Stars get back in it? Seem to be all over us at the moment. Surely a goal coming. 51 52. Change has definitely helped them out. We get to 61, 62 minutes. Uh, yeah, press it on at 60, mate. No worries. Um, I'm just, I'm going to uh, Bobby Power, who has been very disappointing. We will swap with Stephen Hughes. And I will stay the same. As for the All Stars, um, Persic on who do you want him on for? He can play pretty much anywhere in the middle or on the right hand side. So who do you want to swap him on for, mate? You want to just chuck him up front? Who's Quintana? Uh, Diego Quintana. Uh, forward, right, left, plays on the wing. Alf. Uh, Spanish. I think he's uh, um, Mallorca at the start, I think. Uh, here, please. Yeah. Uh, back to the All Stars and, yeah. Here out for Persic on the right. Excellent, right. Good stuff. Let's finish this one off. Yeah, Quintana Alf, he's um he's pretty good. He, some of his stats, some games he's absolutely brilliant on and can play up front as well if needed. So let's kick this one off. And the change is made. Stephen Hughes is on. It's a penalty and a red card to Mario, who we bought on. And <laughs> 14 minutes in. Uh Rob, what do you want to do, mate? Um, that is Disappointing. Uh, they go back to the left side of midfield or centralise them midfielders. What are you thinking? Three, three, three. Yeah, good one. Let's just make sure that works. Uh, defensive midfielder, right? Kobe Hashi, midfield centre, and bless that. I can't actually see it at the moment. Yeah, good field right. Do you want me to take the arrow off him? Like that. Drag them across, mate. Like that. Not narrow. All right, okay. Have to be like that. Uh, he's um, Mega Horse has stepped in, mate. We can't do... He needs wide players. So are you happy with that, with the long arrows? Yeah, that's fine. Excellent. Cheers, mate. Good stuff. Um, penalty to the Yetis. Uh, I don't know if I even set my penalty taker, so this could be interesting. And this Pulse fits who misses, and it stays 2-1. Uh, Boxic with a chance at Dielsen. 72 minutes played. Dielsen again with a chance. Sending off seems to have slowed the All-Stars down, but here they come. Uh, a booking. Can they get it? It's a penalty, and Paul Fitz does stick this one away. And it's no, we're still going here. We're still going. No better chance. And we get to the final whistle. And uh, a decent game, Matt. Uh, pretty even, to be honest. Not a lot in it. The penalty, he missed the penalty, and then he's still confidence to step up and take the second one, stats wise. All stars, uh, Lobo getting his goal again, and Persic come on and, and did a pretty well as well. Yeah, that was a decent game. As for the Yetis, uh, goalkeeper putting a very good performance. Sandy at the back, good. Uh, Quintana on an eight. Poltovitz on a seven with a goal from the spot, but he did miss one. And Alan Boxic with a goal. Uh, Stephen Hughes doing very, very little, as did Bobby Petter. And we will move on to the unbearable alphabetical talent um, who line up like this. Herrera, Yepes, Rochan, Willem, Michelini, Volta Maria, I can't say one, Zanetti, Farinus, Kilnowicz and Imanez. This, as we say every week, is a good side and it is also a rocks side without doubt. And they are playing tonight against the team 
second in the table in Pine Villa. Second on goal difference. They'll be hoping to get some goals tonight, but they have a suspension and some injuries in there. Harry Kuehl injured, Gary Neville injured, and the suspension to Sammy Hooker sees them line up with Paul Gerrard in goal, David Lunsworth, uh, Paul Butler, Sean Gregan, uh, but Neville, Werlin Scholes, Brett Umroyd. Is that his first start? It is his first start tonight, playing behind a Michael Ricketts. Um, Franny Jeffers still on the bench, even though he got his goal. And that, I think the injuries might cost Alf here tonight. A few players not played before. Strawn Gregan, starting as captain. <laughs> Excellent. Right. Uh, let's kick your swan off, Alf, and we will get to half time. Here's who we are. And straight away, we have an injury to Hasney at the back, at left back. What have you got on the bench? Left back wise, ooh. Michael Clegg could play there, I suppose. Rob Lee at a push, or Clegg and switch Neville over would probably be the sensible suggestion, or Rob Lee and switch Neville over. What do you want to do, Alf? Have a look at those while we wait for Alf. Michael Clegg, who always has very, very good stats. Uh, Clegg and Neville switch, yep. Um. Uh, Michael Clegg and switch with Phil Neville. Looks good to me. Yeah, excellent. Let's carry on. Six minutes in, early injury with his other injuries as well. Probably not helping here. And... As if by magic, not minutes later, it is Imanez who goes down injured. And, um, yeah, I haven't seen Rox, so, but he's got an obvious swap on the bench there, so we will do that one for him, I think. Yeah, Kike Martin could, but I think this is the most obvious swap. So we will do that for Rox. And we will... Carry this one on. Still nil-nil here. Two early injuries. Disrupted play. But here comes Pine Villa. And it is a goal. And he is off the bench. And he has scored after 10 minutes being on the pitch. And it is 1-0 to UAT. And he's getting another chance here. Here comes Clegg to Neville all the way across the pitch. Gets 40 minutes. Sinetti, and it is 2 0, and it is um, Kilnowich who makes it 2 0. UAT looking good. We said they were a good side each week, and they are showing it at the moment. So we get to half time. Uh, UAT uh, be happy with that performance, and condition wise, nothing to worry about there. I'll switch over to Pine Villa. Oh, Paul Gerrard not doing great. Richie Wellens on a five. The ever-reliable Richie Wellens on a five, which will be disappointing. Um, any changes to make there, Alf? Uh, Ricketts on the six. Maybe having a great game for you, to be honest. That's disappointing on your birthday. Happy birthday, by the way. Hope you've had a good day. I saw your meal earlier. Looked very nice. David Lunsworth on the five as well. Another player you can normally rely on in there. It's been let down by reliable players tonight. Even Sean Gregan can do a job normally. Done for Wellens, yeah. I think it's just a off night for him and Jeffers for Omarad, yeah. Excellent. Happy like that, or do you want to go two up top? With Jeffers and Ricketts. <clears throat> I 
Okay, okay, excellent. Right, let's carry back on. Uh, 2-0 here, and we will go to 60 minutes. Can the subs make a change? Rickets with chance. Let's see. Um, Zanetti, his name. And we get to 60 minutes. I press the button just before we get to 60. And um, yeah, I think Rox will be pretty happy with that. I don't think there's any changes to be made there. No, nothing to do with condition. 2 1 up. So we will move over to Pine Villa, who have made their free subs. But is there anything tactical you would like to do, Alf? Two up top, skulls drop back, or skulls centralised. Push the wing backs on. There's a few options for you there still. Let's have a look at the stats while we're waiting. Two up top and wing backs up. Excellent. Good choice. Yeah, the shots are coming. Which one's it's interesting on the five, but he was the guy with two of your shots. Um, yeah, two up top. So I, I was having a look at the footed. So and push the wing backs. We'll go one like that. Done arrow as well. Excellent. Ooh. Do you want. Uh, so if we do like that or that what do you want to do with skulls diagonal or straight arrow or center him or drop him back with an arrow Skulls diagonal out, yeah, like that, yeah. S diagonal, yeah. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Alf. And we will um, finish this one off. Seems to quite a damn, but here, here come Pine Villa. Can they get a goal back? Gives a grandstand finish. No, it is in fact 3 0, and it's two from Kilmerwich today. And then we have a red card just to complete Alf's night. And um, yeah, what you can do here three subs. Um, Mega Horse can tell you you need three at the back. So to me, that is but. Or. Oh. I think that's but into the back three, isn't it? Or Clegg and Butt playing that. A few different options still. Let's show a Butt back. Yeah, not like that. Yeah, excellent. That works. Good stuff. We'll just go over to UAT. Who would have the opportunity to make a change? I don't think he would anyway. He's got to be happy with that. Yeah, everybody having a good game for him. We will leave them as is for the last 20 minutes here. And it is four. And. It's not gone well tonight for Pine Villa at all. A couple of yellow cards in there as well. 80 minutes on the clock. We're getting towards the end. We're just in injury time at the end. Phil Neville held him up. And we finish 4 0. Um, to be honest, it was the shots on target that finished you off there, I think. Alpha. Otherwise, it wasn't too bad. UAT, as we say every week, a very, very good side. No disgrace in losing to them. Uh, the sending off didn't help you one bit, and the injuries as well. Um, yes, the first two things that happened were the injuries. <laughs> Heads will roll. I don't think I need to, Alpha. I don't think I need to. I think if you had your injured players back and you're not your suspension, that would have been a lot tighter. So that leaves us to what I think is our last match of the evening, which sees the Mighty Max 
and they line up uh, three one three one two. So Cole and Cliver up front. One of the many Andy Coles. This one has one goal in his four appearances. Patrick Cliver has one goal in his four appearances. Um, again, say it. That looks a decent side. And they are playing against a pitch perfect. Uh, fifth in the league at the moment. And going okay. Uh, they line up with Wagner and Goal, Rose, West. <laughs> yes, we made that joke last week. Presley, uh, Johnson, Lennon, Williams, Collins, Sharkey, John, and another Andy Cole. So it's the match of the Andy Coles tonight. Uh, who has this one has three goals in his six appearances. And we will get this one underway. See how we get on. One of the Andy Coles with a chance. Clive out with a chance there. Stern John. See Ryan Williams' name come up. Ginola with a chance. A early yellow card for Goma. Nicky Bart, Genoa. And it is Cliver. They are unable to contain him, it says. Uh, it's 1 1, though. David Collins, who I think got a goal last week as well, if I remember rightly. And it's Stern John with his first for the season, I think I said. And it is 2 1, pitch perfect. Turn it round towards the end. Three shots, three on target. Yeah, 40 and 44th minute. And it is Stern John's first goal for pitch. Perfect. Um, turning it around at the end there. Um, stats wise, yeah, as we saw, we will have a look at pitch perfect. See if there's any changes to be made. Okay, to 60 straight in. Look at that. No questions asked. Mighty Mags, I do have some instructions. Just want to have a look. Okay, to carry on there, I think. Shinner off, Smith on, please. Excellent, good stuff. Shinner off. And Alan Smith on. Excellent. Thank you, Alex. Good stuff. Your debut game tonight started well, but the two goals late at the end. And we will carry on to 60 here. Can the change make a difference here? Batty. His name coming up. Clive with a chance. Curling effort saved. Gillespie as well. And it is 2-2. Two, two, and it is the other Andy Cole that gets it. And it's 3-2. And it is Clivert. And we get to 61 minutes. And we look over at the Mighty Mags first, who have turned this around. So they went in, they were 1-0 up. They were then losing 2-1. And they're now winning 3-2. Anything you'd like to do here, Alex? I think you've got to be pretty pleased with that so far. I don't think I'd be making many changes there. Uh, yeah. Nobody letting you down there at all. Condition-wise, all good. Nicky Barton, 83, but he'll be fine. No worries about that. Uh, M for Duff, please. Okay, yeah. I'm oh, making a change. Yeah. Excellent. Looks good. Let's move over to pitch perfect. Uh, Wagner letting him down. Too busy thinking about his X Factor audition. Um, condition. All seems to be okay. John Sharkey on 83. Uh, any changes here? Uh, okay. Harry on for Sharkey. Throw Collins up front and good to go. 
Excellent. Well, that's enjoying this match. Yeah, this has been a good one. This has been a good one. Uh, just okay that one for us. Uh, Andrew, just confirm. Looks good to me, though. Who else we got? Okay, excellent. Thanks, mate. Let's finish our last game off. This has been a good game, as it's been said. Andy Cole with another chance. Cliver looking to complete his hat trick. Andy Cole at the other end. Another book of four bookings at the back there for the Mags. Smith with an easy chance, and he puts it away, and it's 4-2. As that finished it off, he's come on and played well, Aaron Smith. Uh, it's 4-3. They're not out of it yet. David Collins makes it 4-3. Another great game we have here tonight. Is there a last twist or turn here? Cliver with a chance for his hat-trick. No, and we get to the final whistle. David Bay in there with a 10. Very good by him. What has he been up to? Uh, got himself an assist. A decent passing. Five of his seven tackles won. Saying that, Alan Gomar, five tackles, 5-1. Five Strangely, though, didn't win or go for a header from centre-back. Uh, interesting. Pitch perfect, guys. Uh, Wagner got up to a seven in the end. Did okay. David Collins struck twice. Two shots on goal, two on target. Two goals for him. Stern John, two shots on target. Uh, fine game, Alex. Yep, well done, Alex. Uh, happy with that. That's what we want to see in Swim. In Swim. A good performance. Patrick Clivert. Standing out. Excellent. That has been quite a good evening, to be perfectly honest. There's been some very good games in there. Uh, plenty of goals around. Yeah, not a game with less than, I think, two goals, which was the Steel Hawks, was our lowest scoring game. Uh, so, classifieds at the end of the evening, we have Honest Rons 2, Trotters 3, their first win of the campaign. Does not get them off the bottom, though, unfortunately. Uh, then we have the Yetis 3, the All-Stars 1. In truth, it was a bit closer than the score suggests. Um, Ponzi Scheme and Nil, uh, the Heavy Drinkers 3, they're up to 5th now. Uh, Steel Hawks 2, Bristol South End 0. Uh, the Cabin Club 2, Coffin Dodgers 1. Uh, Mighty Mags 4, Pitch Perfect 3 in the thrilling game at the end of the evening. And the very, very impressive UAT, 4 Pine Villa nil. Um, your league table looks like this. Uh, my Yeti's out on top on 15 points. Still yet to lose a game. Only conceded three as well. Pretty happy with that, to be honest. Could do a score in a few more, though. The Mighty Mags up to second. They go straight in. First game, second in the... Uh, second in the table. UAT, uh, third in the table. Rocks now sorting some form out. There is his 20 goals and 12 against. Definitely the entertainers of the league. Pine Villa in fourth. Uh, seven goals scored, seven conceded, 12 points. Uh, very tight all the way down there. Look at this down to pitch perfect in eighth on 10 points. All stars dropping quite a bit with just that one game. And then we have towards the bottom, we have Ponzi Schema uh, in 10th, Still Hawks 11th, Coffin Dodgers in 12th on six points, Bristol South End six points, and Trotters with their first win tonight on four points. <laughs> Alex only has taken the Kevin Keegan approach. Let's hope he has a, a meltdown at some point uh, live as well. That would be Pretty amazing for Swim. Um, we will have a look at the player stats. Uh, John Carew, who, as we said in the commentary, has been excellent. One of the Andy Coles, uh, second on the average rating. So there's Ferdinand, Voltolini, and Vich Tig. There. Goals wise, it is uh, Kilmowitz on six, Collins on five, and Pitch Perfect, Andy Cole on five, Lobo, who scored against Knight on four, Imanez on four. Um, UAT appearing all over this. And, yeah, looks good. Uh, assists, it's Zanetti with five from UAT from that right wing back. Ronaldinho with four, but he's only played, he's played four times, four assists. Henley Cole from Pitch Perfect with three. 
and yeah, down to Rose there, Matthew Rose from the centre back with two assists. Very nice. Um, red cards. Uh, Mario, who was sent off tonight on one. Uh, Brad Friedel on one. Carragher. And man of the match. John Crew with his free and man of the match. Yes, you're a very right there, Dan. No uh, teams more. Yep, it does. Um, things patterns start to show. Players start to stand out. Makes a, a bit of difference. Uh, interesting one in the man of the match. I picked on it the other way. Fabian Vargas from my team, the Yetis, has literally come off the bench once and played once and had two man of the matches, and yet he isn't getting a game for me, which is quite disappointing. Um, pass completion, I know a few people like this. Uh, Jason McAteer up there, 89% pass completion. Chris Hope still there, 87 I didn't actually look tonight, but here's, we will have a look at that because he likes a pass. And he, tonight, is 53 passes tonight. Have these games. So, and, so thank you very much. Like the long arrow on call, it's not quite the Ibrahim Saeed arrow, but it's effective. It certainly is. Yeah. Excellent. Um, Saeed, I, I don't know how many goals is he on now, Dan, Saeed? Because you wanted five, didn't you? And I think he nearly got that in his first two games. Um, so thank you very much for joining me tonight. Uh, much appreciated. We will be game week. Where are we next? No, we're in the cup. We are in the cup next game week. Um, can I quickly look at the fixtures? Norwegian Cup, yes, I can. Excellent. Yes, our fixtures, yep. So first of all, we have the uh, Heavy Drinkers versus a Norwegian side, I'm going to say. Uh, we then have Steel Hawks versus a different Norwegian side. Uh, Mario All-Stars as well, playing against a lower league side. Honest Rons as well. Uh, Ponzi scheme, uh, Coffin Dodgers, it doesn't look like. I don't know if the cup's rigged so you play lower league sides. I have to check that out. Coffin Dodgers, Trotters, pitch perfect. They'll be happy to be at home. Um, Cavern Club, Mighty Mags, Bristol South End, UAT, uh, Pine Villa at home, and my Yetis are away. Um, yeah, my Andrew, and so yeah. We have the cup, but for Alf's benefit, the next league games look like this. Avril managed by Yen's dad. Is that true? Unless I moved him. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, did you put him in there, or do they are they actually managed by Yen's dad? That would be pretty amazing. I'm going to look that up now. I know we've all probably got better things to do, but it's just uh, Glenn Anderson. Yeah, it makes sense. Excellent. There we go. Look at that. The first, a cautious but direct style of play. Actually managed to. Yeah, excellent. That's a, that's a pretty amazing stat. There we go. Yen's dad is on CM0102. Sorry, Alf, I will go back and show the league again. Show the league fixtures. So our next game is Honest Rons versus Pine Villa. Another difficult game for you, Alf. But uh, Yetis versus Trotters, who got their first win tonight. All-Stars, Coffin Dodgers. Ponzi Scheme of Steel Hawks. Cavern Club, Pitch Perfect. The Mighty Mags versus Bristol South End. And UAT versus the Heavy Drinkers. That's going to be a good one at the bottom there. Um, excellent. Uh, the Cup is what I've streamed. Yep, I will probably do it as my next Monday one. Unless uh, Meg Horse has any other ideas with it, but I'm happy to do that. And uh, yeah, that concludes our evening. Thanks very much, everybody, for yeah, no easy games. No, there is not any easy games at all. Uh, that concludes the evening. Cheers. Thanks all for sticking around. <laughs>